Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to use the video view to display a video. We'll begin by displaying a video using a local video file in the project. Then we'll move on and use a video file on the device. And lastly, we'll use a uniform resource locator or URL for our online video. If you have not yet already, be sure to give the video a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. To begin, create an empty Android project. Go to the activity main.xml file and add a video view and button to the layout. Since I'm using the constraint layout, I need to add the constraints to both widgets. Set the height of the video view to 200 dp. And add the constraints to the top, right, and left sides. Then anchor the button to the bottom of the video view. Go to the main activity file and create a reference for the video view and button widgets. Lastly, attach it on click listener to the button. To play a video using a file in the project, create a new Android resource directory called raw for our video files. Then drag and drop a video into the raw directory that you want to display. Once the video file is added to the project, add it to the video view so it can display it. Declare a string variable called video path in the onClick method and assign it with the path to the video. Use android.resource colon forward slash forward slash plus get package name plus forward slash and then the reference to the video file in the raw directory. Create a uniform resource ID or URI with the path. And call set video URI from the video view object to add the video to it. Now that the video is added to the video view, Take the video view object and call the start method to play the video. If we run the app and click on the button, the video will start. Now let's see how we can play a video from the device. Begin by dragging a video file into the emulator so there will be a file for us to work with. In Android Studio, register a file chooser intent for the app. Inside the onCreate method, call register for activity result before the set onClickListener code. 
It takes two parameters. The first parameter asks for activity result contract. Use the get content contract from activity result contracts for the file chooser intent. The second parameter asks for activity result callback. When the file is selected from the file chooser, it will bring us back to our app and execute the code inside this callback method. We can use the URI object return to add the video to the video view. Grab the video view and call the ZVideo URI to add the video. Then call start to play the video. Now that we register a file chooser intent for the app, we want to launch it when we click on the button. The register for activity result method returns the activity result launcher that we can use to launch the file chooser. Create an activity result launcher variable called file chooser and assign the launcher to it. Remove the code inside the onClick method. Then grab the file chooser launcher and call the launch method. It takes one parameter, and it is for the type of file we can choose. For videos, use video, forward slash, and then the asterisk symbol. If we run the app and click on the button, it brings us to the file chooser activity. Click on the hamburger icon and go to downloads. If we select a video, it brings us back to the app and play it on the video view. Now let's see how we can display an online video. In the manifest file of the project, add the internet permission above the application code. Go to the main activity file and delete the code inside the onclick method. The way we put an online video into the video view is the same as how we display a video in the project. Create a string variable called video path. Instead of using the path we defined earlier, use the web address for the video online. Then create a URI object using the path and add it to the video view by calling set video URI. Lastly, call start to play the video. If we run the app and click on the button, it'll play the video that was retrieved online. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, Share and subscribe to support the channel.